Ask the Muscle Whisperer. you how are they how we're are they? so happy to be here with the massage whisperer and massage warehouse and to continue supporting the community through a global pandemic so i'm megan i'm rachel um, and we're the directors of jing jing there we are i know i've just literally come off teaching so i'm still in half of my half PPE, PPE. not the bake off it's <laughs> hard to tell these days isn't it? yeah so our questions have been put to us and um, one of them is what we learned through COVID is business owners. Um, and I think that we can easily just say show up. Show up. Show yeah. up. Show up for yourself, show up for your community, um, and keep on keeping on. So cause that's what we did, right? Yeah. We showed up, we did loads of webinars three times a week. Um, um, and also I think that be true to who you, who you are. So I think one of the greatest things about being a massage therapist is that we found our passion in life. And I think that so many people through COVID realized they had jobs and they had activities and things that they were doing for a reason that wasn't following their heart. And I think yeah. one of the greatest things that we really connected with is the fact that we love what we, we love do. Um, and as a business owner, if you can keep saying how much yeah. you love what you do, yeah. people love that. You know, it's attractive, it's engaging for all areas. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's kind of all those great old things around you know do what you love and the money will come later it's like do what you love and the money will still come you know like the business yeah. will still thrive if you stay integrous and you stay true to your work so i think that was yeah. question number one that's question number one i think question, answer, number question number two is probably the same answer i think it's something like uh, what advice have we got what advice words of encouragement well, for the future words of encouragement. my always words of encouragement are two one do your best and yes. keep on keeping on right <laughs> so that's one of my catchphrases keep on keeping on and actually we just opened jing for hands-on courses a couple of weeks ago um, and i was down at the front door because we yes, had to staggle happens. arrivals of everybody coming in so we could check people in in a COVID secure way and someone drove down the street i do not know who this person was <laughs> you know probably someone somehow connected to the jing community either online or hands-on over the last 20 years and she just shouted out of her window rachel keep on keeping on it was like my own catchphrase coming back to me um, and that just to me you know just epitomized everything and um, just keep showing up keep yeah. on keeping on and do your best yeah and you will do your best and there's always someone there for you and I think in the future recognizing that you're powerful you're important yeah um, as part of our complementary medical model that being for our purposes doing clinical massage therapist that you have so much different to offer and I think as proponents of like the biopsychosocial model and understanding the physical is connected to the emotional don't lose it like yeah. stay in the game because people are going to need you and people that you don't even know yet are going to need you and if you stop practicing we're going to miss you yeah. so just keep practicing um, no That's matter how, yeah, how hard the obstacles are stay yeah. true to it and we will see massage flourish and always be essential to the healthcare of our community and our society. That's right. And if you're feeling like giving up, put on Queen, don't stop me now, and dance around. To and dance around. And you won't want yeah, to. Yeah, do lots right. of dance. Okay. okay. All right. Love you all. Thank Keep you so on keeping much. Up. Do your best. So oh, stop. Whisper. Show up.